Guys, welcome back to FTB Legend of the Ice, episode 2. I'm so excited to play this path. It's been a while. Fresh air, guys. Anyways, guys, first thing I want to do is go dungeon exploring. Now, for those who know, I missed a huge part of the dungeons. And King Kong Ninja D1 mentioned those were water elevators at the beginning. You should have went down. I missed that and I am sorry. All right, King Kong Ninja D1, thank you once again for letting us know let's go guys let's get to the actual dungeon oh right i enchanted the pieces of armor as well and i have respiration oh you know what i did not bring guys torches well let's loot this okay that's good oh my god holy poop let me get some torches okay this is how we get in i guess now guys, I thought I would include a lot of footage of dungeon delving, but it was actually so boring. It's just me running around like a madman, collecting loot chests and just shouting nice and very nice. Anyways, nice. I've included some loot scenes, but that's it. Right? Yeah. Oh! Okay. Right. Special. Wait, you can pick it up? That's amazing. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of rooms. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Ooh, oh my god, guys. I think. Actually. Well, guys, if you don't want to watch, just skip, I guess. I will cut out the boring part. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go, guys. This has everything. Everything that... Oh, diamonds. Nice. Man, is that two? Oh, I like this. I like this because now we can make this thing that calls a horse. Very nice. 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 Now, do we care about all that stuff? I guess we don't, guys. That is some amazing look. Anyways, guys, now I think I'm just gonna keep exploring. This isn't fun for you, I believe. It's boring. If I find anything cool, let you know. Nice. Box of Amethyst. Nice. All right, guys, progress report. We are full on loot. We have so much stuff. All right, guys, we're back at the surface. Well, almost. Oh. What a dungeon it was, guys. What a dungeon. We got so much stuff. So much stuff. Now, guys, I've killed uh, a pillager with a banner. And I got a bad omen effect, which is a quest. to get anything. Yes, we do. But I don't have any space. Now, I need to go back to the village. Basically, when I make it back home, we will fight an invasion. And once we are done with it, we'll get the effect. This quest. Guys, the raid is starting. Let's not die. Actually... Kill a few with the bow. I love this bow, guys. Penta kill. We just need infinity enchant. Oh, Bingot, I climbed. We're out of arrows. That's a shame. That's scary. No, 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 no. Don't wanna die. Don't wanna die. These guys with the axe, they are destroying me. Guys. Oh, no, no, no. Water is my friend. Kill a guy on top, maybe. Stop shooting at me. I mean, you won't, but... It's very nice. 
are we done we're not done well guys what a shame we we defeated the raid but we didn't get anything we didn't get the next achievement which i guess unfortunately we lost our health next thing i want to do i want some red dye which you get from beetroot and i want some blue dye which you get from lapis find the two to get purple dye no we need this to the warp stone which is fantastic i think it allows you to teleport yes this is perfect this will help us explore Speed almost ten. All right, guys, we're at the pyramid. Wait, I haven't been in this one. Anyways, I will explore this as well. I'll go down and see what's up. Hey, guys, this one is different. There's nothing. Yep, disappointment. Oh, nice. I think this is. Yeah, the cryptic eye. I think now we need a wandering. Alright guys, I'm back from the exploration. Now guys, to be honest, I am a bit disappointed. There wasn't anything special. I guess there is something special out there. It's just that I didn't find any. Let's get into the industrial revolution. First thing we need is a hammer. Nice. Hammer. Hammer time. Make a few. The next step for me would be to get rid of the furnaces and the best way that I know of and stop using coal, the bulk blasting fan. Nice. Now this will smelt into tin. Ooh, that was fast, guys. Much faster than a fur. First thing we made is a coal generator. It's a basic source of energy. A compressor. It makes plates. Next, a pulverizer. It basically makes ores into dust and duplicates them. A solid infuser. It combines two solid items into a new one. Alright, put some coal in the generator, then pulverize the diamonds into diamond dust and combine it with nicolite dust. Pulverize copper. And then tin. This will make bronze dust. Bronze dust. This can go here. This goes into the compressor to make some bronze plates. And all this we will use to make a solar generator. And forget about using coal. Right. Very nice. Now we got got the energy, got passive energy, guys. Amazing. All right, guys. Next thing I want to make now that we have a solar generated connected with cables to the machines, I want to store the excess energy, and this means we will need some energy containers. And the industrial revolution does have some. All right, bronze, two bronze plates, one MK1 circuit, machine block batteries, and nicolite dust. Now you've seen me make all this work, so I'm just gonna make an MK1 lazuli flux container. All right, guys. So the orange sides represent output. The blue side represent input so i guess the ideal thing would be to place this here is it is oh perfect it did set up itself that this is blue it actually it's uh, gaining energy which is perfect because if these machines are not in use this is storing energy noise then i decided to make a mining drill though at this point <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't know that the diamond drill does not accept any enhancements, let's say. Yeah, I didn't read the quest book. Anyways, I made the diamond MK3 drill. It was slow, so I decided to enhance it with some modules. But remember guys, I didn't know that it doesn't work. I also started upgrading our machines to the next level. But the plates process was just too slow, guys. So I set up a quick create system. Very easy to build. Materials are very cheap, guys. It's basically wood on the side, iron, that's it. And maybe some brass, I don't remember. But very easy to make. 
Now to increase the speed I used the five water wheels. Yep. And it makes plates much faster. Check this out. Boing, boing, boing. That's amazing guys. I also made the next level solar generator. To keep up with our upgraded pulverizer, which I upgraded to level 3, I believe. Yes. Then I made the modular workbench, which took me actually quite a long time. Anyways, and then I made the efficiency upgrade, which I thought I could install on my new MK3 diamond drill. At this stage, I discovered that I couldn't. And I was quite disappointed. I crafted the wireless terminal, which gives you access to your terminal within 16 blocks. But then my progress was halted. I didn't know what to do guys, everything needed netherite. Everything needed netherite. And I didn't have any. Now because I was stuck and I didn't want to go mining, I didn't want to go hunting, I made some food. <laughs> I love food guys and yeah we gained a heart and we had food enough for three more hearts which is amazing. After the food break I enchanted my bow and we were lucky enough to get an infinity enchant from one of the dungeons and we went ender warthog hunting because yeah I needed netherite. Right guys this bow is amazing now it one shots guys check this out. Hey guys, I don't think that's gonna work. In 15 minutes, I mean, it's not that much of a time, but it's uh, not interesting, honest. I've been running around, look guys, we got 10 pieces. Yeah guys, it's just not worth the time. So I decided to go back home and reevaluate my options. And I discovered that we need a soul cage from the spirit mode. We needed an ender warthog form. I hope that you can place this enchant on a bow, but we had to go melee. We also needed a soul shard and it goes like you place a soul sun, you light it up and you throw some glowstone in it to get some soul powder. Place four blocks of quartz around the fire, throw in a soul powder and you get a soul crystal shard. Light another soul fire, throw in some deep slate and you get soul slate. Place it around the fire and throw your crystal shard to get a crude soul crystal. Then four lapis around the soul fire, make some tinted glass and throw it inside to get some soul glass. Replace the lapis and throw in the crude soul crystal to get a soul crystal. I was started gathering the Ender Warthog souls. Now there's four levels, but I decided to go with the first level at first, which is called Mediocre and it needs 64 souls. Now because we have Soul Reaper 3 on our sword, we get one soul plus three every time we kill with our sword. Just one soul if we kill with the bow. And guys, yeah, this is what we did. I thought the first level is enough, the 64 souls. It is enough actually. But I returned home after getting 64 souls. These guys are badasses. They hit like a truck. They look like a truck. So yeah, be careful guys when going melee against them. In situations like this, I used the bow. Anyways guys, as I said before, I returned home when I had 64 souls. And because I had to dig my way back to the portal, I got scared that I will lose my pickaxe. So we had one mending book from the dungeons and I used it on our pickaxe. Now at this point we needed soul steel blocks and to do so you need compressed soul powder blocks which require nine soul powder blocks and each requires four soul powder. Now you get eight soul powder from one glowstone. So we didn't have enough glowstone. We had to go back to the never and get some glowstone. Now guys I decided to get a stack of glowstone and while doing so I was also killing ender warthogs and I got the crystal to the average tire which is the second tire. Hopefully one stack and almost a second stack will be enough for the whole thing. At this point we had enough netherite to upgrade our leggings to emerald level and we also got a quest reward which was a bacon sandwich and other food for our hearts. 
We made seven soul steel blocks, which was a mistake because you cannot make the blocks into ingots. Anyways, place four soul steel blocks around the soul fire and throw in a broken spawner to get a soul cage. Now I also made some pedestals and a crystal pedestal just to complete the final quest of the spirit mode. Now the spawning the ender warthox was done basically, we had everything, but we needed a way to kill them. And this is where industrial revolution comes in with its slaughter machine. We crafted the slaughter mk1 and upgraded it to level 3. We also made a better level solar generator as it needed power. We made a 7x7 area as the second level crystal has a range of 7 and at first I didn't cover it up and I didn't surround it with tinted glass. Now the slaughter I placed just under the soul cage. And placed chest just for ease of access. Now I believe you need an output servo placed on the item cable, item pipe and then you need to configure the slaughter with a screwdriver if you want the output to be at the bottom. And also place a sword inside the slaughter. Now for the tinted glass you could use blocks of amethysts to make amethysts with a pickaxe on a cutting board but for some reason mine wasn't working so I cheated. I surrounded the soul cage with tinted glass and the first wounds started coming in and kills of course and loot but it stopped working the slaughter stopped working the spawns were coming in but the slaughter wasn't working and i figured that i ma made a mistake the solar generator was inside the tinted glass so i had to make cables and drag them outside the tinted glass area now with the first shells we got i upgraded our sword to emerald level which is almost the best and we got a hamburger then I found the pyramid from episode 1, I looked it up on the map and just went there. And guess what guys? <laughs> we go down, guess what we find? An amazing helmet. But we also found our first eye. It's amazing guys. First eye and an extra heart. Noise. I loaded everything in the pyramid, well almost everything I guess, everything I could find. And we had two amazing helmets which we will combine and have ourselves a very awesome helmet. Which we upgraded to Neverite Gold level. After that, I went AFK at the farm. All right, guys, eight hours later, eight hours of AFK time, and we've got 713 Warthog shell pieces. Holy. <laughs> That's amazing, guys. Is that Neverite problem solved? Much as that? Oh my god. That is amazing. Guys. That is amazing. Well, let's make whatever we can. 44. That's it. <laughs> well, that's actually a lot, guys. That's actually a lot. That's amazing. Amazing. And now, first of all, of course, upgrade everything. Upgrade everything to Neverite Shovel. Uh, uh, let's see what we get here. Wait, I'm breaking seven. I'm breaking seven. I didn't know you can go to seven. That is amazing, guys. That is amazing. Let's use that. All right. Projectile protection. I don't like it, but we have this one. And then I guess this will be okay. I guess this will be okay. So I made the Neverite ingots with all the resources I had. Upgrade the pickaxe to the max level. Then the axe to gold. Travel to gold. Boots. Emerald. Chest. To emerald. And helmet. Which helmet is amazing. Is It is amazing. To diamond level, guys. <laughs> we are... In, we're looking insane, guys. We're looking insane. Let's see what food we get. Dumplings, nice. Chicken sandwich, that's extra. We never had this before, which is amazing. Store them in our food chest. And just know that this too will, will give us potentially more hearts. Guys, we are... Oh my god. We are... Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Question. Netherite. Can we repair with netherite? Plain netherite. We can. That's a shame, but that's okay. All right, guys. We are looking amazing. Um, This is it for this episode, guys. Check 
this armor out and the pickaxe and the sword we are looking fantastic guys we are looking fan freaking fantastic guys i really hope you enjoyed the episode we will have no problems getting netherite now the next issue we have is getting ores i'm out of diamond i'm out of gold i'm out of iron how do we solve this problem guys how do we solve this problem guys well stay tuned to find out probably we will solve it in the next episode guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one. Bye.